Hey guys, welcome back to Gray Beer Garage. My name is Matt, and if this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. If this is a return visit, thanks for coming back. So today what we're doing here on this channel is we're working on our 2005 Chevrolet Avalanche. And this thing is plagued with issues. Everything from known issues to things that have gone wrong with it in the last couple of years that quite frankly, I've just been too lazy to fix because I've got a different truck and this is kind of a spare vehicle for us. But today we're gonna to replace the EVAP canister and that is right here on the hood. And that looks just like this. And so what we've been experiencing is a slow fill at the pump. In other words, you start to pump your gas and it immediately shuts off. And we've been dealing that with dealing with that for years. So what we're gonna do is replace the canister. That will fix that problem. And hopefully it'll also fix the problem of starting. When we go to start the vehicle, it takes two to three starts to get it because there's no I think there's no pressure in the fuel line, but I think that's partially attribu attributed to that canister. So we're going to replace that. Hopefully that'll fix two of our problems. Um, and that will cover this video. And then I will have two other videos that'll follow up behind this one. And the second one will be the track bar. We're going to replace the track bar on this. A few years back, I replaced the trailing arms. I replaced... The upper control arms, the lower control arms, I've replaced. Basically, the whole front end has been replaced. The only thing I didn't replace was the track bar. And now when you drive, the back kind of slides out of it. So we need to replace that track bar. But that'll be another video. And then the third video will be our uh, rear seal on the tail of the transmission. That needs to be replaced. Also, for some reason, we've got a squeak that I think is attributed to that. So... We're going to get that replaced also. Again, the track bar and that seal will be in two videos down the road. But for this video, we're going to focus on that canister. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So here we are. Here's our EVAP canister up here. You can see all the lines going to it. And I had to get a jack out and jack the truck up because I'm either A, too old or B, too fat or maybe C, a combination of both to get under this truck anymore. So, there's our canister. What we're gonna do here is a little different than what I had planned on doing. I think I'm going to take these two nuts, or these two bolts out here, and allow this thing to come down, and then I can pull out uh, everything here. There's a bolt here. Let me see if I can get under here. There's a, a bolt here that goes through the top. Yeah, it goes through the top, and um, I think it just might be easier, instead of trying to get up around that, from the top side, is just drop, drop the whole thing from here. Now, the solenoid here, this purge canister solenoid, which is right here, was replaced year a few years back, and I thought that was initially the problem with this thing, but it wasn't, and it never resolved it, so... I just kind of dealt with a crappy, slow-filling truck, but I'm just kind of over it now, and I want to get this thing dropped and replaced. So let's go ahead and pull that out. Now, I do have a 13-millimeter uh, socket set up here already, and so I don't know if that's right or not. It is. So that is a 13-millimeter bolt, and we're going to go ahead and, and get this dropped down. So... I guess let's go ahead and do that. Now, of course, I'm left-handed, so everything, everything is harder. All right, so here we go. All right, guys, so there's our first one. There's our second one. All right. So now we'll move on and pull this thing down, and we'll show you that next step. All right, so what I forgot to mention is that the purge canister solenoid is actually attached to the bracket for the evap canister so we need to disconnect that because i really don't want to take that down with the the canister so i'm going to try and pop that off and then this is already loose and ready to come down uh so we'll get the canister off and then we'll bring this down all the way all right guys so we got our canister off if you you'll see here there's a tab and you need to pry up 
you need to pry up under that tab just like this and that canister will slide right off all right guys so we got our first clip off it is a nightmare they are not easy to do you basically have to squeeze this piece and then it will supposedly release but i broke this piece I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this to stay back on the new canister. So I'm kind of worried about that. And uh, I still got at least one more like that to get off. And you have to squeeze these to release these little tabs underneath. All right. So, guys, you can see now we've got this off. Completely disconnected. And uh, it, it was not necessarily easy. Apparently, my Apple Watch is having a hard time understanding things. But anyway, so we got we got this one off. You have to squeeze these two blue tabs in here. Now, this should come off and transfer over to the new one. And this is dropping little like charcoal beads on my face. And then these will hook back in to the new one. So now we'll just get this out of here. And... Um, get the new one under here and get everything hooked back up so we have the old one we have the new one and this thing is way heavier than this thing is so definitely probably uh time for that to be changed so we're going to pull this off transfer to that and then we'll crawl back under the truck and get this installed all right hey so we're back under the truck there's the mount for the canister so now we got to get the canister back on that bolt it on there's a bolt here it's 13 millimeter and then shove it back up in there and reconnect these lines all right so we have it back in the bracket now this plastic ear here I had to like rasp out with my round rasp because it didn't quite sit right uh, to let me get that bolt back in so I had to rasp that out to get that back in. Now we're going to shove this thing back up in here and get these lines reinstalled. So we have basically slid up into the position here. We're going to put our bolts in and get this back in place, and then we'll shove these lines back on. Okay, so zoom back out here. We have our bracket back. We have our two. We have two lines hooked up already. I'll tell you this much, use some sort of a lubricant because they will slide on so much easier if you do. The next step is to put this last one on here. We can see that, that one there, and that actually just goes to your EVAP uh, solenoid. So we'll throw a solenoid back on that tab up there, right there, and uh, connect it to that. All right, so <clears throat> we got our last... Uh, line which goes out to our evap uh, canister or solenoid everything's back in place all bolted back in nice and neat and cleaned up this should i hope correct our filling issue we're having so i'm actually going to run to the gas station now and we're going to try and fill this bad boy up Hi guys, so here's the moment of truth. Normally when we fill this thing, it immediately clicks off. So let's see what happens. At Wawa, we handcraft your favorite beverages with quality ingredients. From the RFA certified espresso in your latte to the beans. Still doing it. There it is, so that did not fix it. Well, guys, you saw in the video that that did not fix my fueling issue. So I'm not really sure what my next step's going to be. I'm hoping maybe somebody here will have had experience with this and can maybe give me an idea of what's the next step. Um, my personal thought is to drop the fuel tank and go from there and just kind of check everything from there. Um, however... I, all is not lost. We did learn something today. We learned how to 
take the canister down and replace it. We learned that that wasn't the problem with the truck. So, you know, just because it didn't work doesn't mean we didn't learn anything. So, um, the next thing I'm going to work on is the uh, track bar, but that'll be in the next video. So, guys, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you guys like the kind of content you're seeing here, hit that like button. If you think somebody else might learn from this, hit that share button. And um, if you're not a subscriber already, I don't know why you're not. And we would love to have you guys uh, subscribe to the channel. We do appreciate everything that you guys, uh, that you, we do appreciate everyone that has subscribed. And those of you that haven't, please consider doing so as it really does help the channel out. Again, guys, thanks so much for checking us out here today on Graybeard Garage. My name is Matt, and this is our 05 Avalanche that you might see a little bit more of. Uh, coming down the road is I'm trying to get this thing back to a little better running condition. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Thanks so much for joining us. Remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. We'll talk to you later.